Hello folks, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all the latest tech reviews. Today I've got something super exciting to dive into, the Xreal Air 2 Pro AR glasses and the Xreal Beam Pro. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, a gamer or just curious about the future of AR, you're going to want to stick around for this one. If you don't know already, AR or augmented reality is a technology that superimposes computer generated image on a user's real world view. It's not the same as VR. VR creates a fully virtual world with total immersion of the human senses, whereas AR is a combination of the real world and computer generated 3D content. These two devices are designed to work seamlessly together offering a next-gen level AR experience that's portable, powerful and pretty slick in design. But do they live up to the hype? Let's find out. I've been using these glasses for several weeks now. The Xreal Air 2 Pro AR glasses come inside this rather premium looking package and inside you get the following. The glasses themselves, a light shield, a carrying case, a cleaning cloth, a detachable USB-C cable with an angled connector at one end, a prescription lens frame, two additional nose pads, one is already fitted on the glasses, and various paperwork and manuals. Everything feels well built and high quality, which is always a good first sign. The glasses have a modern, minimalist design Nothing too flashy, which I appreciate. They look and feel more like a pair of regular sunglasses, albeit just a little bulkier. Plus, they're lightweight, so they should be comfortable for extended wear. Now let's move on to the Xreal Beam Pro. Again, the packaging is sleek and minimalist, and inside we've got the Beam Pro unit. The Beam Pro itself is compact and looks just like a smartphone, however it's not actually a phone and you can't make phone calls from it, but more on that later. The Beam Pro is designed to pair effortlessly with the Air 2 Pro glasses. Setting up the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses and Beam Pro is pretty straightforward. You just plug the glasses into the Beam Pro via the USB-C port, make sure it's the port on the right hand side with the symbol of the glasses and you're good to go. Think of the glasses as a giant screen that you wear. It's basically a portable OLED monitor that you can take anywhere and it works with a whole host of products. It connects via USB Type-C and works with devices such as the iPhone 15, iPad, Android devices, Apple and Windows laptops, gaming devices such as the Steam Deck. Basically, out of the box, the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses can connect to any device with a USB-C video output. You can take this one step further with the addition of the Xreal adapter, which is sold separately and provides Apple Lightning and HDMI ports, allowing you to connect the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses to gaming devices such as the Nintendo Switch, Xbox Series S and X, and the PlayStation 5. Now, just plugging in the Air 2 Pro glasses to USB-C devices, such as an iPhone 15 for example, just mirrors what's on your phone, as it just acts as a screen. The whole AR or augmented reality experience is very limited this way. However, this is where the Xreal Beam Pro comes in. The Beam Pro acts as a sort of hub, processing the AR content and sends it to the glasses. It looks just like a phone. In fact, if you didn't know what it was, you'd think it was a phone. The Beam Pro runs on Android 14, giving you access to the Google Play Store and millions of apps. And Nebula OS, which is the Xreal software that provides the AR environment, runs on top of Android and allows you to access and run all your apps within Nebula OS environment. You can use the Beam Pro as a standalone device. You can run apps, browse the web, play games, etc. You can do basically everything 
except make phone calls and send text messages. The Beam Pro is a nice looking device. It's well built and has a white finish on the back. I'll talk through the specs a little later. However, one of the coolest things about the Beam Pro is the dual 50 megapixel 3D spatial cameras on the back. These cameras are 50 millimeters apart, which is supposed to mimic the distance between the human eyes, therefore providing a better spatial video and photo experience. You can capture spatial videos and photos and play them back on the photo app on Nebula OS via the Air 2 Pro glasses. And I have to say, this is one of the coolest features of the Beam Pro. The photos and videos look really good. You definitely get a sense of 3D effect and things appear to sort of just pop on screen. It's a really nice feature. And with the Air 2 Pro glasses, one of my favorite thing has to be the electrochromatic dimming. This feature basically dims the actual lens, therefore giving you a better visual experience. Here is a quick demo. There are three levels of dimming, which is activated by pressing a button on the right hand side temple. Now this feature only works when the glasses is plugged into something as it requires power in order to work. But honestly, this is a really cool feature. So let's take a look at the Nebula OS interface. And to start, all I have to do is just plug the glasses into the Beam Pro and Nebula OS will automatically start. The interface is nice and clean. You get a floating menu system with round icons and you can access and run all your apps. The Beam Pro is your controller and it sort of becomes like an air mouse. It has built-in gyroscope and you can move it around to navigate on screen and to select something you tap on the Beam Pro screen and you can also use gesture controls for things like bringing up menus. It's easy enough to use but it does take a little time to get used to. My first instinct was to use the Beam Pro as a touchpad like you would do on a laptop but it's more like a controller you use on a VR headset. You point to things on screen like a laser pointer rather than dragging your finger and to make a selection you tap on the Beam Pro screen. The display is very crisp and sharp and the colours are really bright and vivid. Videos look really good. You can adjust the application window. There are two different sizes to choose from and you can even run two applications side by side and easily switch between them. This is a great feature and I can see this coming in really handy. Here is a quick rundown of the specification of the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses and the Beam Pro. Let's start with the Air 2 Pro glasses first. The glasses use Sony OLED screens and support 1080p at up to 120Hz. It can display a 130 inch spatial display. It has a 46 degree field of view. The glasses use electrochromatic technology to dim the lens and there are three levels of dimming. The glasses can connect to any device that supports USB-C video output. With a separately sold adapter, you can connect to HDMI devices such as the Xbox and PlayStation 5. There are two speakers built into each temple and it has something called directional audio technology which is supposed to reduce sound leakage. The glasses are very light and weigh only 75 grams. Now let's take a look at the Beam Pro specifications. The Beam Pro has a 6.5 inch LCD display with full HD touchscreen. It uses a Snapdragon Spatial Companion processor. It runs on Android 14 and Nebula OS, the system that the glasses use, runs over Android. It has two 50 megapixel 3D spatial cameras on the rear and a 8 megapixel front facing camera. It supports Bluetooth 5.2 and Wi-Fi 6. It has dual USB ports so you can charge the device whilst it's still in use. It supports 27 watt rapid charging. 
It's available in either 128 or 256 gigabyte versions and you can expand the storage up to one terabyte via micro SD card. The main features or selling point of the glasses is that it's the ultimate wearable display experience. It's like having your very own 130 inch OLED screen and you can take it with you wherever you go. It's also great that it uses USB-C meaning you can simply connect it to most phones or any other device that uses USB-C video output. The glasses can become your very own cinema experience. It's great and when you're traveling for example, when you're on a long journey such as a plane, you don't have to worry about batteries. The glasses run off whatever devices they are connected to. To get the best experience, you need to use the Air 2 Pro glasses with the Beam Pro. Together, you can do so much more. It gives you a better AR experience. With the Beam Pro, you can pick between two different viewing modes. There's the body anchor mode. This mode pins in space whatever you're viewing, meaning you can place your apps anywhere you choose. There's also the smooth follow mode. This mode makes your content gently follow your head motions, avoiding sharp or jarring movements, which can lead to motion sickness. With the Beam Pro, you can also run two different apps side by side and easily switch between them. I can be watching a YouTube video on one side and I can read the news on the other side. It's a great feature. There's also the Xreal store which offers AR apps. There's currently a very limited selection. There's a maze puzzle game and a balloon popping game. These are both great. The experience is almost like VR but without the full virtual experience. Hopefully over time the number of apps available will increase. The Beam Pro also allows you to capture spatial videos and photos using its two 50 megapixel 3D spatial cameras. These are 50 millimeters apart as it's supposed to mimic the distance between the human eyes. And I have to admit, I love this feature. The results are really good and you get a sense of 3D layering in the pictures and videos that gives you a sense of depth and things just sort of pop on screen. If you've ever played on the Nintendo 3DS, you'll know exactly what I mean. Gaming with the Air 2 Pro glasses is a really cool experience too. I've been enjoying Xbox Game Pass Cloud Gaming and for casual gamers like myself, it's a great experience. You can connect a controller via Bluetooth to the Beam Pro and you're good to go. Of course, with cloud gaming, your internet connection speed will also dictate the quality of your gaming experience. But with a good connection, it's totally fine and I have to admit, it's pretty cool experience. You're basically gaming on a 130 inch giant screen. Don't forget you can buy the Xreal adapter which gives you access to HDMI ports so you can connect your consoles like the Xbox Series S and X or the PlayStation 5 for an even better gaming experience, especially as the glasses support 120 Hz. I have also tried a couple of games on the Google Play Store and again, these were just as good. Now let's talk about movies and videos because this is one of the best uses for these glasses and I'm pleased to say Videos look great with the Air 2 Pro as well. YouTube comes pre-installed on the Beam Pro and I downloaded Netflix from the Play Store which also works great. You can use gesture controls like swiping up, down, left and right to navigate the Netflix menu. The Beam Pro has an official claimed battery life of approximately 3 hours for watching online videos. So you should have no trouble watching an entire movie. However, I found the battery life of the Beam Pro to be surprisingly good, so you should get more, possibly around the 4 hours plus range. Obviously, the battery life will be determined on how you use the device as well. Here is a quick pros and cons list based on my experience of using the Xreal Air 2 Pro and the Beam Pro for the past several weeks. Let's start with the pros. Both the Air 2 Pro glasses and Beam Pro have great build quality. It's extremely easy to set up. The system is generally fast and snappy. 
The picture quality is really good. He has expandable memory up to one terabyte for the Beam Pro. The electrochromatic dimming is a really cool feature. The 3D spatial cameras are awesome. And here are some cons. On the smooth follow mode, it can be difficult at times to view the extreme bottom edges of the display. It would be great if I can run at least three apps on the screen at the same time. The laser pointer sometimes stops working or goes off screen and you have to reset it by long pressing the home button on the Beam Pro. Recording spatial video is a great feature, however the playback can be a little jittery. Nebula OS crashes a lot, especially when trying to open photos, videos or AR apps. It's a great experience overall and I'm sure with future updates this can be addressed. So what's my overall thoughts on the Xreal Air 2 Pro and the Beam Pro? Well, the glasses on their own are great. I love the fact that they work with any USB-C video output device such as an iPhone and the electrochromatic dimming is a really cool and useful feature. The Beam Pro is well made, it has great battery life and is quick and responsive. However, these devices work best when combined together. The Air 2 Pro glasses and the Beam Pro together provide a really good AR experience. It's a great package for gaming and of course watching movies on the go. It's not at the same level as the Apple Vision Pro, but then this is reflected by the price. It's not totally polished. The software in my opinion needs more work, but I'm sure this will be taken care of with future updates. But overall, this is a great package and definitely worth considering. If you are interested in the Xreal Air 2 Pro glasses or the Beam Pro, I'll leave all the relevant links in the video description below. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll do my best to come back to you. Until next time, take care and I'll see you on the next one.